Intel teases their discrete graphics cards, Threadripper gets some serious overclocks, the i9-9900K is getting soldered, and a new third-party 2080 was teased. So stay tuned. <laughs> I'm so pumped to announce the long-awaited release from Mastrop's collaboration project with Sennheiser, the HD58X. A successor to Sennheiser's first-in-class HD580 headphones, the HD58X is an audiophile's dream, and at just $150, it's able to outclass headphones at over twice the price. And while this is a sponsor, I'm serious. If you don't believe me, check out what the experts had to say. If you're interested, definitely check those out before they're sold out in the description below. Welcome back to GamerMeld. We knew it was coming, but Intel is clearly getting serious. Through all the talk of Nvidia's next generation graphics cards, Intel has been working on their own discrete GPUs, and they just released a teaser trailer on Twitter that confirms the release year, which was originally said by the CEO. In the trailer, it basically goes over their graphical accomplishments, like being the first with a DirectX 12 compatible GPU, etc. Of course, none of it really has to do with their graphic solution's ability to push frames since Intel's integrated GPUs are lackluster to say the least. But at the end of the video, we're met with their true intentions, set for 2020. And here it is, the silhouette of what's certainly a discrete desktop GPU. And as I've said in the past, this is really exciting since you know Intel can bring some serious competition to the graphics card industry. Next up for today, AMD's new 32-core Threadripper has reached new, unbelievable heights. HW bot overclocker Ivan Koopa was able to get the 2990WX Threadripper CPU to a staggering 5.9 GHz. Now, that is on just a single core. Some outlets unfortunately reported that as an all-core overclock, but that wasn't the case. Either way, a near 6 GHz overclock on a single core of a 32-core CPU is still impressive. To achieve this, the overclocker used an MSI X399 motherboard, 8GB of G-Scale memory, and a 1500W Corsair power supply. And while he didn't provide a benchmark, the user Samson was able to get a Cinebench score from an overclock of 5.367GHz, and he scored a whopping 8,532 points. Compare that to Intel's 28 core at 5.1GHz, and we're looking at over a 1,000 point difference. Next up, video cards, a very trustworthy source for leaks, have leaked quite a few slides about Intel's upcoming Coffee Lake refresh. First, we have the specs, which we've mostly seen leaked already. As you can see, there's only three chips coming at launch. The 6-core 6-thread i5-9600K, the 8-core 8-thread i7-9700K, and the 8-core 16-thread i9-9900K. Each comes with reasonable clocks and support for up to 40 PCI Express lanes, but believe it or not, that isn't even the most interesting part. In the second slide, referring to 8 core parts, you can see that Intel plans to finally use solder. That's right everyone. And ironically, in the third slide, Intel claims that their acronym for the solder, STIM, quote, delivers a desired benefit to the overclocking community. Now, I will say that this is odd, considering one supposed reason Intel stopped using solder was due to it cracking over time from raising and lowering temperatures often. Maybe they figured out a solution, who knows. Lastly for today, you may have noticed posts from multiple companies that are nothing but a green image and might be wondering what's up. Well, this is Nvidia's B for the Game campaign, and is almost definitely a marketing campaign for their upcoming graphics cards. You can go to the B for the Game Twitter profile and it states that, quote, everything is about to change, likely referring to their real-time ray tracing technology that's to be implemented into at least some of Nvidia's next generation cards. And board partners didn't stop at the green image. Another partner, Gainward, sent out this photo with the words, according to Google Translate, reading, away from the eyes glare, the mysterious life of all things remaining seven days. It would seem the photo is of their updated shroud for Gamescom next week and should include Nvidia's next generation 2080. Of course, quite a bit of commenters on my videos said third party cards wouldn't release around the same time as Nvidia's when I went over the leaked email from a board partner. Well, I'm, I'm just playing. <laughs> so while that does it for today, what did you think of the news? Excited for Intel's GPUs or just ready for Nvidia's reveal on the 20th? Let me know down in the comments below. And don't forget to check out the HD58X down in the description below. And as always, have a great day.